Hey, welcome or welcome back to another video. Nobody asked for it. I'm Sarah and today I'm going to be doing therapy sessions with my camera. The therapy sessions with my camera is, is this new little series I've decided to start where I talk to my camera as if it was a therapist because therapy is expensive. And I know you're probably going to say, Sarah, there are cheaper options. I'm like, yeah, for people who have insurance, there are cheaper options. But for me, they're still very expensive because $80 per session, $189 per session is a lot of money. Especially if I want to go to therapy weekly, and that's a lot of money. I'm not rich yet, so <laughs> can't just be dropping all my coins on therapy. So this is my alternative. I'm just gonna talk to my camera, gonna rant about different topics, segments, topic, or oh, the sessions topic. It's going to be about the angry black girl trope and how it has affected me as a black woman. I'm gonna get right into my rant. I'm this person who's been alive for a couple of years and being black and a woman at that the angry black woman stereotype has definitely been utilized against me. Whether people realize they were doing it or not, there were so many times that people have assumed that I was angry or that I was really mean simply because I was justified being upset. Or sometimes I wasn't even upset that people would assume I'm angry, which is super annoying. One time, I was just chilling with my friends at the mall. And I was talking about the Don't Judge Me Challenge. If you don't remember what the Don't Judge Me Challenge is, you're probably too young to be watching this. But the Don't Judge Me Challenge was basically a bunch of conventionally attractive people putting a bunch of crap on their face and then putting their hand in front of the camera and like taking it off and being like, oh, look at me, I'm conventionally attractive. <laughs> And that really bothered me because I thought that it was a stupid challenge. I mean, most challenges these days are stupid. I remember expressing how dumb I thought it was, especially since a lot of people would like wear glasses in their before part and then after they take off the glasses. That really bothered me as a glasses wearer. As I was expressing, passionately expressing how I disliked this challenge, this white girl in our group was like, Sarah, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. Well, excuse me. And I'm like, I'm not even angry. Like, I literally wasn't even angry. I was just speaking passionately about how I didn't like this challenge. Justifiably so. And I'm like, calm down. Who's angry? Who's upset? Who's yelling? Who's throwing punches? Who's throwing chairs? Who's throwing people? Who's throwing hands? I'm not throwing anything. I don't have a temper right now. I'm not angry. I'm not yelling. My voice made me raise a decibel, baby. Anybody who knows me probably has had to tell me to speak up at least once. I was probably just speaking at, you know, regular volume. Excuse me, Sharon, but I will not calm down because I don't have to, because I already am calm. Come on, can't I express my disdain for something without people telling me to calm down? I know that a lot of black black people, especially black women can relate. You know, there's times they're talking about something that they're very passionate about and someone will automatically assume that they're angry because they're just so passionate about it. And they might get a little bit louder than usual. People are like, oh my gosh, calm down, you're being really scared now. And speaking of scared, there was this one time people spread this rumor about me and I confronted somebody that I thought might have spread the rumor. And mind you, I had just finished crying in the bathroom because I was like, I can't believe they've done this. Like, I really can't believe people are spreading this rumor about me. Like, that's not true. Like, I don't even know any of these people. I was like, you know what? I'm going to confront the person that I think might have started the rumor because the rumor was that I was talking trash about that person even though I wasn't at all. And I'm just like, I don't know if you're the one spreading the rumor about me talking about you, but I'm not even talking about you. Like, I don't even know you like that. I have no reason to talk about you like that. And she literally was so scared. She was like, oh my gosh, like, I would never do that. Like, I swear I didn't even do that. Like, you would have thought I was like this. I thought I was like, are you the one? Are you the one who was talking about me? Because I really wasn't talking about me. I made people were scared. Me too. I was really, really scared. You would have thought I was saying it like that. You would have thought I was coming at her. You would have thought I was all up in her face. But no, I was so nervous because I don't like confrontation. This is a very scary thing for me to do because I never confront people. Well, not never, but I get very scared to confront people because I hate conflict so very much. It makes me very nervous. In the moment, I didn't really realize it, but like 
thinking about it um, right after it happened, I'm like, why was she so scared? And I was, I was posted up or something because she was so very frightened. I'm like, ooh, it's probably because I'm black. You know, a black girl gets kind of upset, justifiably upset, and all of a sudden she's suddenly angry. But you know, it doesn't just happen when we're passionate about something or when we're visibly upset. Sometimes it happens when you're defending yourself, justifiably defending, or not even necessarily defending yourself, but explaining yourself. One time when I was in college, when I was living on campus, this girl that I lived with who asked me if I did something, she's like, oh, were you the one who, who left that thing there like, or whatever? And I was like, no. And I was literally explaining myself like, oh yeah, I don't do this. Like I usually do that. So it couldn't have been me. And she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. no need to get so defensive. No need to get so defensive. And I'm like, um, I'm just explaining that it couldn't have been me. Honestly, I swear you can't even explain yourself to a white person these days without them thinking you're angry and getting defensive. The person no need to get defensive was basically saying, you need to calm down. You need to calm down, Sarah. You're being too loud. Take it down a notch, please. Please, please, take it down a notch. We can't have this kind of animosity in this air. We can't, we can't, we can't. We can't. I don't understand. I, I don't understand how I was being def I was just trying to explain to her that it couldn't have been me. Even in that situation when I wasn't even in trouble or anything, I was kind of nervous. And maybe that nervousness translated to her as anger. But I wasn't angry. Like, well, we can't even feel now. We can't feel nervous. We can't feel angry. We can't feel sad without y'all thinking we're angry. We can't, we can't be passionate. We can't be overjoyed. We can't be loud. We can't do anything without y'all thinking we're angry. I'm not angry. I'm nervous. I'm not angry. I'm sad. One time, actually more than one time, this one girl, she's not even white, but she she wasn't black. I was like, oh my gosh, son, you look so pissed off. But that's funny because I'm literally about to cry. Like I was literally on the brink of tears. More than once when I was on the brink of tears, the water filling up my eyeballs. Us black girls can't even be about to cry without y'all thinking what we're angry. Like, I'm not angry. I am about to cry. Okay, I'm gonna cry my eyes out. One time, when I was a senior in high school, we got back our SAT scores. Our teacher let people check on the computer in her room. And I checked my scores and they were <laughs> horrible. This was so humiliating. I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? What happened was I didn't study. I really didn't study and then I expected to do better. Like, girls, bye. So that's the point. I started crying, like right when I ended up going to the guidance counselor later because I was trying to take it again. The guidance counselor was like, oh my gosh, Sarah, your teacher told me that you were freaking out, like you were having a meltdown in class. And I'm like, what? I just cried, bruh. I, that's, that's just a Tuesday for me. Come on now, I cry all the time. I didn't have a meltdown, I didn't freak out. I literally just cried. I'm sorry that crying now translate into having a meltdown. Like, you would have thought I was on the floor screaming, crying, like, ah! oh. Why, 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 why? What she envisioned was a scene in an African, you know, if you ever seen African movies, specifically like the Nigerian ones, I've seen a bunch of up, where like somebody dies and you're like, oh my gosh, and they're like very, very, very loud when they cry. Maybe she, maybe, maybe when I was crying, she saw that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my God. She's sitting there crying, minding my business, not bothering anybody, and she out here talking about Sarah's freaking out, like freaking out. I'm crying, calm down, woman. Anybody who knows me knows that I am a shy person. A lot of times won't to people. Unfortunately, most people I don't warm up to. Most people I just end up being reserved with, very quiet with, because communicating is hard for me. It's still something that I am learning to navigate. I'm a very shy person, and the amount of times people have assumed that I'm stuck up or mean simply because I don't talk to them like that is absurd. I remember there was this one time when I was at summer camp, me and my sister, we were talking to each other. Now, we are both very shy people. Like, <laughs> shyness just runs in our family. We just all caught the shy bean from, <laughs> shy bean. We all caught the shy gene from my mom. Me and my sister, we were just talking to each other. Because we're comfortable with each other. <laughs> we were just talking to each other. And this girl, we don't know like that. We know, we knew of her, but we didn't like know her. No, we weren't friends with her. She comes up to us and she starts talking. And we talk back the best we can. Like we didn't have a full blown 
two hour conversation with her. It's not like we just stood there and said nothing. We, we talked back to her. Later, I found out from my brother that she went up to him and she said, oh, I tried to talk to your sisters and they were so rude to me. She talked to us, we talked back, but I guess what she really saw me because <laughs> we were black, she saw. <laughs> Ew, why are you talking to us? We don't know you like that. If you don't get out of our faces, like, oh. Maybe that's what she saw. But we didn't do that. Being a black girl, trying to navigate the world <laughs> and be in public spaces, sometimes you find that you have to suppress your anger. Now, some people won't suppress their anger, and that's fine. It's a lot more healthy to let that anger out than suppress it. But I'm more of a suppressor. I'm a suppressor at heart, you know? And I know a lot of black women can relate to this. Because the second you complain about anything, suddenly you're labeled as difficult, you're labeled as crazy. You're labeled as the B word. You're labeled as an angry person. You're labeled as a person with anger issues, even though you got angry one time and you raised your voice one time and it's like, oh wow, thanks for showing us who you really are. This is who you really are. You're really an angry, horrible, bitter person because you got angry with us one time because we made fun of you and you didn't like that. And we didn't do anything wrong. You're just an angry person. It can be very difficult. Suppress my anger sometimes. <laughs> but also, suppressing your anger is really bad because when you suppress it, it eventually comes out in a very explosive way. <laughs> Which has happened to me before, and then it gives people even more of a reason to call you angry because then you get explosively mad. Oh, and oh, I have a situation that I've been suppressing my anger about because these people keep. Saying the N word. They're minorities, they think they can say the N word, but the thing is, they're not black. During Black History Month, bad enough that you, non black person, really think you can say the N word, but now you're out here giving white folks the pass to say the N word? Oh no. It's too ghetto for me. I can't. This is all too ghetto for me. I can't. I can't. I cannot. Yeah, so that's what I'm currently suppressing my anger about, right? <laughs> like, uh, girl. That really pissed me off, but I'm like, keep it cool because you can't be labeled as angry black girl. But when they do it, it's a okay. That's why I just, that's all I have for today. If you today hate this video, you can like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.